welcome to your Newsmax Now update. I'm John Bachman. The chaos in Egypt continues and making things worse. Former Egyptian President Hosni Mubarak is expected to be released from custody this week. Mubarak is in the middle of a retrial for killing hundreds of protesters ahead of his ouster in 2011. Court officials say time has run out to hold him. And in Egypt's Sinai Peninsula, Islamic militants stopped two minibuses carrying 25 off-duty policemen and then shot them execution style. The day before, security forces killed at least 36 detainees they say were trying to escape from a prison truck convoy. The violence is the latest in a string of clashes between security forces and supporters of ousted President Mohamed Morsi. And with the death toll rising, more Washington lawmakers are calling for the U.S. to suspend the $1.3 billion of aid we give Egypt each year. But others argue that could be bad for both the U.S. and Israel. The fact is there's no good guys here. But of the two, I think there's more opportunity to protect American interests uh, if we work with the military. And Carolyn Kennedy, who's been nominated by President Obama as the ambassador of Japan, rep reportedly released her financial information. The daughter of the president is worth as much as $500 million, more than previously thought. That's according to the New York Post, which cites a legal source who reviewed Kennedy's filings. Kennedy declined to reveal this information when she briefly sought the Senate seat vacated by Hillary Clinton in 2008. And there are new allegations almost 16 years after the death of Princess Diana that she was murdered by a member of the British military. Diana, her companion Dodi Fayed, and their driver were killed in a Paris car crash in 1997. Now Scotland Yard is reportedly reviewing new info passed on to detectives by the in-laws of a former British soldier. But skeptics say these types of rumors seem to appear every year around the anniversary of Diana's death. I would simply ask, where is the evidence of this murder? There has been a full inquiry that has cost the British taxpayer millions of pounds. It should be noted the Royal Military Police did pass on the investigation when it was told about these new allegations. And in South Africa, Olympic track star Oscar Pistorius has officially been charged with murdering his model girlfriend on Valentine's Day. The double amputee was emotional as he heard the charges. Prosecutors say they plan to call more than 100 witnesses, including one who heard a woman screaming just before those shots were fired. Pistorius says he thought he was shooting an intruder. He will remain free on bond until the start of his trial. If convicted, he could face life in prison. And coming up next on your Newsmax Now update, a massive volcano erupts in Japan. See what it's doing to a nearby city and what geologists say could happen next. Plus, a Newsmax exclusive with Reagan biographer Craig Shirley will discuss the new movie The Butler and why he says it gives an unfair portrayal of our 40th president. Next. Attention hip implant patients. Are you in constant pain? Have you received a letter from your doctor about your implant? Have you had or need a revision surgery? Do you have high levels of metal, chromium, or cobalt in your blood? Over 90,000 hip implant devices have been recalled due to defects and failures resulting in revision or replacement surgery. If you have a recalled hip implant, you may be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-460-0920 to see if your implant is affected by the recalls. If you or a loved one has a defective or recalled hip implant, you may be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-460-0920. That's 800-460-0920. Protect your legal rights today. Call 800-460-0920. This is an advertisement, not valid in all states. Paid non-attorney spokesperson, ilawsuit.com is an advertising group that represents lawyers advertising their services and is a free matching service for consumers. It is not a law firm or lawyer referral service. Judging from everything you hear, you think all cholesterol is bad, but that's not really true. You need a certain amount of cholesterol to maintain good health. The problem is that too much cholesterol in your blood contributes to a plaque a fatty substance that narrows the coronary arteries that feed blood flow to your heart. Picture your coronary arteries as a four-lane highway. If one lane becomes blocked, traffic still flows well. Two lanes, no major problem. But if a third lane becomes blocked, that spells trouble. It's the same way with your coronary arteries. And when plaque slows their blood flow to your heart, this can even cause a heart attack. The good news is that when it comes to cholesterol, lifestyle changes can pay off big time. Even a small reduction in plaque can be like opening up another highway lane. Suddenly, blood flow that was stalled can go forward again. 
Changing your lifestyle does not have to be hard. And in fact, here are three ways to help you start lowering your cholesterol. Snack on nuts. Nuts are probably one of the easiest and tastiest ways to lower cholesterol. Walnuts and almonds are among the best. Bulk up your diet with fiber. Choose whole fruits instead of a fruit juice, brown rice instead of white, and if you're eating a baked potato, be sure to leave the skin on. Choose fish. Fish contains cholesterol-fighting omega-3 fatty acids. I'm Dr. Chauncey Crandall, and thanks for watching this Heart Health Minute. Remember, it's never too late to prevent or reverse heart disease. Right now, I invite you to discover your own risk for heart disease or even a heart attack by taking my quick, free online quiz at www.simpleheartest.com. And welcome back. A volcano in southwestern Japan is spewing a lot of volcanic ash, which is blanketing nearby Kagoshima. This is Mount Sakurajima, which towers over the city of about 600,000. The record smoke column reached a height of 16,400 feet. Lava also flowed down the southeastern part of the mountain, but authorities say there are no signs that more large-scale eruptions could take place. Well, the film The Butler about Cecil Gaines, who worked for 30 four years in the White House gives an unfair portrayal of President Ronald Reagan. That's according to Reagan biographer Craig Shirley, who during a Newsmax exclusive says the film is grossly inaccurate, especially on Reagan's handling of race. He has yet been captured by any element of, uh, of Hollywood correctly in terms of the uh, the nuance of his thinking, the depth of his thinking, the sophistication of his thinking. And to see more of our exclusive interviews and content, stay with Newsmax.com. This has been your Newsmax Now update for August 19th. I'm John Bachman. Now here's the Steve Malzberg Show in New York.